If you want to learn or relearn a golf swing, I've got five simple steps to follow to help you build a starter swing with all the best fundamentals. The first step is grip. So I want you to think of the golf swing like driving a car, and this is your steering wheel. Now, in your lead hand, if you're a right-handed golfer, that's your left hand. I want you to crunch the lower knuckles of that hand to create a little crook or a little pocket where the grip is gonna sit. So lay that hand underneath the grip, then wrap the rest of that lead hand on top. You should have total control. There shouldn't be any slipping in this position. Now add the right hand or the bottom hand, and you can just line up all your fingers in a row. You might decide you want to try an interlock or an overlap position here with your pinky. Um, however, either way, however you like to do it, uh, you want to definitely just cuddle the thumb that's already on the grip with the pocket of your right hand. So you should end up with thumbs down, fingers around, and definitely feeling that in both hands you're holding the grip in the fingers. Soften the knees, and I just want you to practice hinging from your hip joints instead of hinging from your upper spine or back to get down to a ready position. So hinge at the hips, soft knees, arms will dangle from here so that we have nice room to swing them once we start moving. And the key to turning on your golf swing is actually in your feet, particularly your lead foot. So I'm gonna wake up the toes on my left foot as a right-handed player. I'm I'm going to get in my ready position and I'm going to push myself to the right and rotate back into my right heel. So my arms are going to be dangling, I'm going to push and turn, push and turn and notice how naturally if I let my arms respond to this ignition movement that I'm going to naturally create a nice back swinging motion with my arms without even trying to do much of anything with them. Now I am staying in my golf posture. I'm not standing up and then coming back down again. I'm staying right here as I started and rotating right and left in this position with a little bit of feeling of lateral pressure. And now I'm going to swing to the right and to the left just nice and gently with an even pace and feeling that pressure move back and forth, letting my arms and the weight of the club swing just in response to that engine turning and moving. So you're moving, you're swinging, you're driving that car, but how are your brakes? Because you have to come to a safe stop at some point. And in golf swing, we call that the balance finish. We want to swing back, and when we swing through, engage that front side of your body, put the brakes on through and past impact so that you can come to a nice balanced position and control your shot. If you follow through and you've got really sloppy footwork and your weight is ending up on your back foot or your feet have moved their position, you're really going to lose control of your shot. Now good drivers give their passengers smooth rides. So when you start your swing and you start your downswing, don't slam on the gas and jerk your passengers or your golf club all around the place because it's only going to throw off your swing plane, it's going to increase tension and manipulate that club face. So instead, we want to swing in a way where we have a smooth acceleration and not one that starts with a yank or a jerky backswing. So smooth and then gradually getting faster as we turn through to a finish. If you follow these key points, I know you're not only going to build a great starter swing, but you're going to build a great golf swing for life. So send them down the fairway and enjoy your time out there on the course.